Hey guys, this is Ray. This is a follow-up to the Project Mix I.O. video that I made. A lot of you guys know my Project I.O. was messed up. I need to replace a part. If you've never seen that video, somewhere on the screen there's going to be an annotation. Click that. It's going to take you to that video. But I'm getting a lot of people writing me about that. A lot of people are having the same problem I'm having. Basically, the Firewire chip on the board fried i need to replace it you call avid you give them the part number they tell you okay we'll call you back in about a week or two they never call and over here we're looking at the board that needs replacement all right the first thing i want to show you this is the part number it's m audio fw 1212 cs digital cb 72077 revision d yours might be a little different the revision might be different but this is the board so I call them up, I give them that, they put it on file. One technician told me it's gonna be about $100 to replace, which is fine if they could find a part. Now, if I call them, they're telling me, well, we no longer support the IO, so we can't get that part anymore, which sucks. And a lot of you guys are writing to me and telling me the same thing. Now, here's an approach that we all could take. Let me show you something. I'm assuming that this is the Firewire chip. Now, there's multiple chips here, I could be wrong, could be this, it could be any of these chips. But for some reason I'm thinking is this. I don't know. So let's say this is the chip. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get a magnifying glass and you see all those numbers, write them down. Go on DigiKey or one of those uh, websites that sell components. Try to see if you can find these components. If you're able to find these components, good. Now the only problem you're gonna have, this is not easy to remove. It's not like a through hole uh, soldering. For example, like uh, this capacity here, there's a through hole, so it's very easy to take out. Now, this is a surface mount component here. Not the easiest thing to uh, remove or to put back on. So let's say um, you get the part. There's a couple of things you're gonna need. Well, besides an expensive lab with expensive equipment, you could get a heat gun or you could remove it with a soldering iron. Both approaches, very risky. If you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. I've used the heat gun. I've definitely done it with the soldering iron too. It's more uh, time consuming, but they both work. Now I'm not gonna sit here and show you guys how it's done. You could definitely check out YouTube. There's a hundred videos about this. Now here's the thing that sucks. If you wanna test these components, you need special equipment. It's not cheap. Now to check like, you know, capacitors and resistors and stuff like that, you could use a good multimeter or a... So if you're able to get these parts, you just have to deal with the soldering part and the removal part, that's it. Now again, according to the people in the forums, they're saying that the firewire chip is messed up. It could be anything else. It could be a capacitor or a resistor. Well, these capacitors, I checked them out. They're good to go, but it could be so many other things. You need to uh, figure out if it's the firewire chip or any other chip on the board, I don't know. I'm just uh, pointing out to you guys that there might be a way to get your uh, Project I.O. Uh, working again. The other way to go on eBay, find the Project Mix I.O. that's the power supply is blown or I don't know, the preamps are not working and the user selling it because he can't replace the preamps on it. What you're gonna do, you're gonna buy that and you're gonna replace the board. There's an area at the Avid site that shows you all the repair centers, all the official repair centers or authorized dealers, they're able to fix things. You never know, one of these guys might have uh, this board somewhere sitting on a shelf. If that's the case, then you're lucky. Now the other problem, price. Of course, they told me without services, this is 100 bucks or cheaper. That's if you do it yourself. Now if you take this to a authorized center, they're gonna charge you for the part, they're gonna charge you for the services, so you're definitely gonna be spending more than 100 bucks on fixing this. I paid about a grand for this when it first came out, maybe a little more, I don't remember. It was expensive. Maybe back then, if something would've happened, then hey, you know what, it's worth fixing. But at this point in time, is it really worth fixing the IO? I'll tell you this, there's a new version of OSX, got released not so long ago, a couple of days ago. I'm pretty sure M Audio's not gonna support that. New version of Windows is gonna come out. Avid's not gonna write new drivers. I'm not saying it's not going to work. I'm just saying they're not going to develop new drivers. Look at the original Mbox. They stopped developing drivers. Yeah, you can buy them on eBay, but you have to stay with Windows XP. Well, the last time I checked, somebody developed drivers for them. So you never know. But anyway, guys, so here's what I want you guys to do. You see that subscribe button? Press that. 
give me a thumbs up and check the description now and also post a comment below and let me know what you guys think if you have any questions just hit me up also my email address will be in the descriptions if you have a question just hit me up there i really don't use the youtube uh, system sometimes a message you get lost there so if you really need to get a hold of me email me later guys